Okay, so um, I am going to talk again about the Lobo, Loblo, which is a female groin guard. It's really the only female groin guard that I've ever seen that is not only practical and functional, but <laughs> comfortable. It's not enormous and it actually does offer protection because it's hard plastic rather than some kind of like, um, like the huge boxing groin guards that people have that's like a giant pillow that you wear. Um, so this is what the old one looks like and you can actually still buy this, but they've made some improvements on it. Um, so the first thing is that there's this rubber part that goes around the outside now um, that's kind of like a buffer to go around the sides um, and what's nice about that is it's silicone and so it's really soft um, so I actually didn't have so much of a problem with the grind guard the way it was before the way it is just like this um, it has these hard edges like this which uh, when I wore it when riding my motorbike to get to my other gym uh, it became very uncomfortable <laughs> about 10 minutes in um, but people don't generally do that however with the silicone around it, that was um, less of an issue. I can actually wear it for longer and be like sitting around uh, if I don't have a lot of time uh, to go to run to the bathroom in order to change into it. I can change into it earlier. That said, I think that this silicone thing going around the edge is gonna make a bigger difference for people who have um, maybe a little bit more skin around the area. If you're, um, if, you have uh, more legs and hips and things like that uh, that would be rubbing against the side. This lays pretty flat on me, I'm small. Um, so if you have more skin around that area, I think that this is gonna be a really big improvement in terms of the comfort uh, in the same way that like this skin kind of around the bra, if you had plastic there, super uncomfortable, um, but having some kind of silicone there would be far more comfortable and you wouldn't have any chafing. So this is the old one as I've done and uh, I'm gonna show you what the brand new one looks like. So. Um, it comes in a washable bag like this, which is super nice because you can just throw everything into the bag and throw the bag in the wash and you don't have to worry about the cords and stuff getting frayed or caught on things or anything like that. Um, so everything comes inside um, and they've made a couple of differences. So the plastic part here is the same, which is nice because that was pretty perfect the way it is. Um, the new package comes with the silicone part like this and again it's pretty much like popping anything around like your phone or iPod or something like that it just goes all around the side like this so if you don't like the silicone thing just don't put it on and if you do it's really easy to put on and take off uh, I would suggest taking it off when you wash it so that you can uh, air dry the stuff on the inside there and then you can see the other differences are um, this cord here that we have on my old one this one's really thick um, and kind of grippy. Um, this one is thinner, which is kind of nice and seems a little bit stretchier. Um, this hasn't been a huge problem for me, but if you make it super tight because you're paranoid, which I sometimes do, it might cut into your legs a little bit. So that's a little bit stretchier. And then this part, um, this used to be the band here, and now you have a band that's a little bit softer. It's a little bit more like um, jockey underwear or something like that. It's like a nice stretchy soft material. This one, if you have the old one, is not a problem at all. Uh, this one's just slightly nicer um, and it's got low blow on it, which is kind of nice. So they have a video online of how to put this together. I'll just show you. Um, so you can put the silicone thing on after you've assembled the entire thing, but I'll just show you. You just pop it all around the sides here. Um, Like that so now you have all of your nice sides um, then you're just gonna want to start with your elastic part and this goes uh, from the front to the back and then thread it back through in the other one like that uh, make those even um, and then you're gonna go from the outside in and then thread it back through on that second one like that so from the outside hole in and then back down like that and so then this you can just tighten it to however mostly you need it and then you can cut the excess off um, some people will just tie it in the front like this to keep that stuck at the front when you have it the size you need 
I stole this off of a um, tent bag <laughs> that I had um, and it's just kind of like a um, slide grip so that that can keep it in the spot that you need it in. Um, the second part is to put this part on and this part is a little bit tricky for me every time I do it the first time. Um, so you're gonna again start from one side and you're gonna start from the back. You go through the rightmost or outermost slip, come out, then you're gonna go to the innermost slip, okay? And you make like a little hook and then you're gonna come back up the center of that with this. So it comes up the center and then back in through the first hole that she put it through. And so then you have something like this, so that when you wanna tighten it, you just pull from that side and it grips itself. So you need to push from the farthest right end if you need more room, and then pull the slack like that. So this is the new and improved low blow. Um, I find it to be, uh, slightly more comfortable but what I really really like is that I think this is going to make a big difference for um, some people more than others but it's a really nice feature in terms of just having more comfort option um, and what I love about low blow is that it's hard plastic but it doesn't feel bulky um, I was wearing a men's cup for a while and it's just a lot of space that you don't actually need um, and this offers actually a lot of protection I have been kicked and kneed directly in the crotch wearing this and um, it makes a huge difference between wearing it and not, and I am so happy when I'm wearing it. So um, I definitely, definitely recommend that all women get this product, the Low Blow, um, for sparring, for training, and definitely for fighting. Um, I think this is something that could revolutionize female Muay Thai in general, uh, thinking about women needing protection because we do need protection, uh, and having something that's functional and reasonable um, and you know, work on chest protectors after that, but this is really, really good. Um, if you listen to Two Ladies in the Kingdom, which is the podcast that Emma and I do, uh, we are sponsored by Low Blow on that podcast. Uh, that's because actually I love the company rather than that I have to hawk this because they sponsor us. It, it worked the other way. I asked them because I really love the product. Um, Emma and I both wear this and they do have men's groin guards as well. So if you're a man uh, and you need a product, they have this silicone thing around the man, men's one as well. Um, been some up pooing. Oh, มันจะได้นะวันนี้ค่ะเพราะว่าผู้ชายยายแบบนี้ผู้หญิงนะเออแล้วก็ผู้หญิงไม่ใช่ค่ะเจ็บมากไม่ใช่แบบนี้ไม
ไปอย่างเช่นไปตายอยู่นี่นี่ก็เขาก็ไม่ได้อ๋อเพราะว่าไม่ใช่ยี่ห้อที่ว่าเขาทำก่อนอ๋อไม่ใช่แบบว่าอันนี้แบบว่าอันนี้เป็นของเวเวนัมใช่ไหมอือหึใส่ได้แต่ว่าแบบว่าทําเองไม่มีเจ้าของอ๋อไม่มีเจ้าของงวดค่ะแบบว่าทำเนี่ยอ๋อซินวีพยายามสายมวลการผู้ชายแต่ไม่ดีสำหรับผู้หญิงไม่ดีเตะไม่ค่อยได้ค่ะยายมากน้องชอบโอ้ยใส่ยางใช่ไหมอือหืออันนี้ดีกว่าเพราะอันนี้หนักอันนี้แข็งเบาเบากว่าคองเลยนี่ดีกว่าเป๋ามากดี